Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 60 from here. The next step, we apply the power law of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. At this here, this becomes x log 9 equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. At this here, log 9 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log. 60 over log 9. Then from what we have here, we can write 60 as 3 times 20. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 20 divided by log 9. Then here, this follows the law of log n. When we have log a times b, this is same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 3 plus log 20 divided by log 9. Then, next step here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. And also from here, we can write 20 as 4 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then, yeah, this follows the law of log ring. And what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then from what we have here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. And also 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then here we apply the power of log ring. That is 2 comes here, 2 comes here, also here, then from here. And we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3 which implies here yeah, we have log 3 cancelled each other 
1 over 2 left here. That is x equals to 1 over 2 plus. Yeah, also to cancel each other, we have log 2 over log 3 plus here. We can write this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. And next step here, we apply change of bits. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. At this, all we have here becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus also 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. Then Next step here, we bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SCM here, that's 2. And this becomes 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. That is, the value of x here, we have x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. All over 2. Then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And from here, we can write 9 as 3 squared which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side that is here this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other we have 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 equals to 60 on this side. Then this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is this equal to 60 on this side. Then 3 raised to power 1, that's 3 times. Here we we'll reverse this 2 from power log. And we have 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equal to 60 on this side? That is here we have 3 times 3 raised to power log. 2 squared, that's 4, base 3, times 3 raised to power log 5, base 3, is it equals to 60 on this side. Then, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm 1, we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This same thing as 3 times 4, then times 5, is it equals to 60 on this side. And 3 times 4, 12. 12 times 5, 16. Equals to 60 from the left hand side. Equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.